Hello and welcome back to Family Quest. My name is History Wes, and as you can see, I'm in the Nether. I keep forgetting I'm in the Nether because this is an enclosed area, basically, that I've dug down into over time. And as you can see, I have my frogs here because I also uh, use this as a location to get frog lights. Thankfully, as you can see from the crazy way these magma cubes uh, look, the new version of Optifine is out, so uh, the natural animations add-on pack now works. And uh, come on, Froggy, let's go over and eat some magma cubes. Wow. All right. Here you go. Go crazy. What I'm really here for is not for frog lights, but for blackstone. You guys all chop it down to appropriate size, bite size that is. A skeleton? Where did you come from? Okay. And he's already left me a bunch of frog lights. There we go. Nice. Anyway, I said I kept forgetting uh, that I was in the nether, but that is until the music comes on. So Blackstone is just too hard to get. I've been here mining for a while. I could bring up a... Don't want to fall in there. Could bring a uh, beacon, I guess. That would be good. But I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be uh, digging in here. It's a nice black stone up here. And I'm going to use this for a project that I know. Always got to watch out for holes. That's a hole I previously dug. So. Uh, I'm going to use it for a project that I just thought up. Okay, Froggy. You don't seem too excited about the magma cubes. So let's bring you over here. There we are. These magma creams. And if I come stand over by the frog, the magma cubes will come over here. Oh, another big one. Okay. So I've got one of each frog over here. I have a bunch of brown tree frogs at home, and I think John's got a bunch of white ones at his base, but don't have any other green ones, so I make sure I don't lose my green frog. Good job, frog. Let's, uh, let's move you over here. Just a few left. Frog lights are great. That's one of my favorite new blocks. There's a lot of blackstone on the floor here. I should just dig down one, I guess. Uh, 
All right, you've done your job. I don't want you to jump into that lake of lava. Coming? Okay. So I have these guys permanently stationed down here. Nothing happens to them. Perfectly safe. And uh, let's see. So we've got some blackstone and also some basalt frog legs. Quite a few frog legs for just having been down here a little while. Okay. Uh, next door we have a fortress that has not been explored. Sometime I'll do that. I started to do it one time and immediately got knocked. I went through here. I immediately got knocked into lava by um, a wither skeleton. So, this long hallway leads back to our old Tiger base that we just completed the uh, minecart track to. Uh, you can see the previous episode for the information on that. I haven't built any more supports for it. I've still got like, I don't know, a thousand left to build. But I'm taking a break for that right now. And uh, the other thing that down here on this track besides the uh, the salt delta where I get my black stone is a uh, little mining station that uh, I built when 117 came out I believe and we had the first uh, uh, deep slate blocks in the game or slate as I call it since there's no regular slate, it doesn't make sense for it to be deep slate. If there was a regular slate in the game, then that would make perfect sense anyway. So I've not stopped by here in a long time, like a year, I guess. And this is that, that location. And here we are. It's a little bit of a tower, just out in the middle of nowhere. And we've got a beacon for mining, and down here we've got some. Uh, strip mining done. This is real strip mining. It's not branch mining. There is some branch mining too, but this is open strip mine. And uh, anything interesting in here? Got some copper, iron, redstone. Got all the deep slate back at the base. I need 30 diamonds. Look at that. Some slime, a slime head, and calcite. I'm always in the need for more calcite. Okay. And that's about it. Okay. Back in the nether. Though it's hard to tell in the hallway. It's one of the first things that I do when uh, going to a new location on the map is build another hallway to that location. In fact, sometimes I do that before I even go to the to the place that I'm going to. Um, which was the case in um, in the new base, the current base that I'm at. Uh, I plotted out and found an area that looked likely for mountains and just set our sights on there. And popped out. 
So this is the turn that turns to the new base, continuing straight. We go to the old base, so we make the turn. And here's our friend Ham. He is the third piglin to occupy this spot. The first two were bacon and sausage, and they were accidentally killed. And we just hit this. We've got uh, gold bars in there. That's uh, gravel. What else have we got? And he does occasionally give red or a black stone too, but uh, what was that? So there's a little black stone, but it doesn't add up very quickly. Alright, so we're heading out to the to our main base and um, once we get there, I'll pick it back up. Okay, here we are coming to the end of a long walk. And it is a long walk, even through the nether. That's why the same distance on the minecart track takes uh, two and a half Minecraft days. Alright, here's our portal, the end of our hallway. Uh, there's, uh, I got, had some trouble with the gas when I was coming the other direction. It was a cagey one. I'm going to break my, my, uh, bow here. This is set up just above the ground. It's a two block jump up, so they can't get me. They always try, though. They run and go under the walkway. All right. Into the base. Okay. Here's the portal. It's in one of our towers. And uh, I have created a little fake backdrop so you can, it looks like you can look into the nether. This was an idea I got from the Blue Nerd. Of course he built one that was like hundreds of blocks big and had an entire fortress in it and stuff like that. I just made a little half moon shaped feature here with uh, just, just whatever fit right in here. But I think it's kind of cool. Okay. Back here. One thing I haven't finished is the conference room. Take a look there. Last time I came up to the conference room, there was a creeper in here. I think I have fixed that. Uh, so I need some amenities. Oh, okay. The conference room is basically done. It's just not decorated yet, and it looks down over the Great Hall here. Alright. So we need some carpeting, and we need some banners. That's what we need. And a table and some chairs. And some lanterns. And I feel like this should be enclosed to so you're not out in the open here. But you can see the vastness of our underground world here that uh, I dug out with some help from my son. It was a long dig that started this project. Okay. We're going down to our work area here, which is just one flight down. It's 
Let's go down for shuffle boxes. And uh, let's see here. Dump some of this stuff into the sorting system. Don't want to dump the black stone. Keep the black stone. Uh, yeah, everything else can go in to the chests. And level okay. 10 is what we're looking for. So, oh, I was thinking this whole room was black stone, but it's just the pillars. That's that's good. What I want to do is uh, these areas that I've already lined out, I want to build uh, back into it like a make a crypt. And we're going to go back, say, two, three, four, five, six, seven, say eight. Okay, so we've got this dugout and lined with uh, deep slate brick. We're just going to do the four here. Uh, spread out some cracked deep slate. And then we'll do a few polished deep slate. more brick. Yep. Okay. Okay. And we need thought of this before. Let's get some of these. Okay, so we're going to make our tomb here. Stone bricks. On the base. And then we're going to need some more stairs here. Oh, yeah, that's exactly right. Okay. So now let's see. Is these and then for the topper we want some of these okay a couple more like a tomb. Maybe I should do deep slate steps like that around here. I've got too much crap. Let's see. 
Yeah, I like that. Alright, let me go get some soul lanterns and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went to get uh, soul lanterns and instead I saw the black candle sitting there, the black candle chest, and I thought, aha, let's do that. Oh, you click on the candle, not just the wick. All right. You should be able to make soul candles. That would be the best of both worlds, right? Uh -huh, but I like that. Yeah, I like this. You know, it'd be great if uh, we need some banners back here. And uh, man, if you could make tattered banner, tattered banners, that would be really cool. You can make cracked bricks, so you should be able to make tattered banners. So there we go. So I'm going to create these down the hallway as far as we go probably on these other hallways off that direction and that direction too. You might uh, do something slightly different in their design, but uh, this hallway, both sides would have crypts like these in. All right, so that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by Family Quest. My name is History Quest. Come on by anytime. And as always, keep on Minecrafting.